Hopefully it's in one piece. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since we made any videos, but we've got a pretty exciting one today. This is a Rotax 912S that I just took delivery of today all the way from Germany, and it's going in a top rudder ruckus that we're going to be building right here on this channel. Stay tuned. This is going to be the first in a series of videos highlighting my build of the top rudder ruckus. So today we're going to walk through the arrival and unboxing of this Rotax 912, and we're going to talk a little bit about some of its features, why I chose this particular engine, uh, why I chose the 912 and the top rudder uh, ruckus overall, and then kind of what we have in store for the next few videos. My name is Evan Flat. I'm based in Lafayette, Indiana, and I'm a private pilot. Uh, I also went to school to get my airframe and power plant certificate, but ended up taking a little bit of a different route with my career. Now I'm a full-time research engineer, uh, but I love playing with airplanes, getting to wrench on them, but also uh, flying as much as possible. So I was super interested when I saw the top rudder ruckus online, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. So why did I choose the top rudder ruckus? Well, I saw it and I thought that thing is going to be a lot of fun. It's a really cool design, really simple design but it has some features that you don't see in a lot of airplanes. Uh, it's gonna have flaps, it's gonna have mixing between the flaps and the ailerons, it's gonna have leading edge slats and spoilers that deploy with full deflection of the ailerons. Um, so those are some pretty cool features. It's also gonna be super lightweight. Uh, the wings fold, which makes it really easy to store. It's got the jump seat, so you'd be able to take somebody for a little ride. I think it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. The factory is saying it's only going to be a 200 hour build time, so that means we can be flying pretty fast, uh, which is going to be really helpful for me because I'm pretty impatient. When I get all the parts in here, I'm going to want to have that thing built and I'm going to want to be flying by the end of this year for sure. Um, if not, going down to Stoll Competition uh, in Tennessee, my home state, um, and having a lot of fun. With the lightweight design that the Ruckus has, weighing about 750, 800 pounds empty, the Rotax is going to be an awesome power plant. I opted for the 100 horsepower variant of the Rotax 912. Uh, the factory, actually, in their green demonstrator you've probably seen on social media, that one's flying with the 80 horsepower uh, Rotax uh, 912 UL. Um, I talked to Troy Woodland, the designer of the airplane, and he was um, uh, a bit jealous that I was going to put the 100 horsepower engine in my airplane. Uh, he wishes that he had a 100 horsepower engine uh, in their demonstrator uh, because it's going to be a lot of fun. That's going to be a lot of power. A lot of thrust on a, a lightweight airplane uh, that's going to be really capable uh, for short takeoff and short landing. I chose this particular 912 um, for a couple reasons. One, it's the one that was available. Um, these engines are becoming really popular in the experimental market, so uh, they get snatched up pretty quickly when you find a good used one. Um, I got this one in Germany, which means I paid a lot to have it shipped over here, um, but it's a good engine. This is the certified uh, variant. So it went on, it was on a Diamond DA-20. Um, they pulled that, this engine off that airplane uh, to do a big inspection on the airframe and they wanted to replace the engine uh, when they did that. So this engine has a couple hundred hours left on it before TBO. Um, so we know we've got you know, probably about 300 hours of uh, good use left in the engine. Plus the engines are very reliable. They should go well beyond that. The second reason for choosing this particular 912 is it is a newer model. Uh, this is a 2015 model 912, so it has all of the updates uh, that many of the early engines you find uh, do not have. So it has the updated crankcase, updated cylinder heads, updated ignition modules, flywheel. Um, there's a lot of parts. I think the carburetors have also been overhauled relatively recently. Having all those updated design features is going to feel good when you're flying behind this thing through the air and over trees and over water. Um, you don't want to be behind an engine you don't trust, so I want to make sure I have a good engine. I think this is the right one. So I'll walk you through the arrival process and a bit of the unboxing, and then I'll show you around the engine uh, some of those design changes that I mentioned in case you're looking at a Rotax 912 yourself. These will be helpful. Uh, I had to kind of scour the internet for a lot of different sources to find the various uh, design changes that, that they had made to the engine over the years. So hopefully this video will be helpful for you if you're looking uh, for a 912. Hello. Do you mind if I record? Yeah, I've just got a little camera.
Ah, uh, that's good. Okay. I need to assign anything? Yeah. Turned out really bad, but it'll work. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Thank you. Long you're having this one. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Took my finger off there. Okay. Hopefully it's in one piece. There it is. Nice. I hope this is in English, so I can read it. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to call a German friend. Looks very German so far. The certificate. For the certified engine. And a very German logbook. Oh, some English in here. This engine was removed to working condition with remaining service life on October 6, 2023. It's been sitting longer than I thought. 264 hours left, or seven years. Carburetors have a remaining service life of whatever that number is. Okay, so this has been sitting since 2023, two years. Well, it's good to have that, I guess. We did get the S3, so we do have have it set up for a governor that has been removed. This was on a diamond katana. And it apparently has some big inspection that has to be done at like, I can't remember, 4,000 hours, 10,000 hours, something like that. And they wanted to replace the... The engine, just get a new engine uh, when they did that inspection on the airframe. Um, yeah, so we've got set up for a um, prop governor. I got the blocking plate so we can block this off and then uh, put a cap down the prop shaft there. Um, then you can just use it with a fixed, fixed pitch propeller, which is what I'm going to do. This is a 2015 model. So it's got all of the upgrades. It's got the upgraded cylinder heads, uh, coolant temperature sensor location, valve covers, uh, the soft start ignition modules. Um, I think other, a couple others changes. There's a change in the flywheel um, ignition assembly that changes the timing, I think. Um, yeah, so it should be ready to rock and roll for at least another couple hundred hours, if not more. Pretty exciting. I'll take a picture of that, send it to the crew. So you can tell that we're missing quite a few accessories. We don't have fuel lines, we don't have an oil cooler, we don't have a radiator, uh, a lot of the coolant hoses, uh, engine mount, the ring mount's not on there. Uh, luckily, Top Rudder's hooking me up. They've got some sort of custom uh, ring mount for the 912 on the ruckus frame. So I won't have to worry about buying an engine mount, but I am going to have to get the oil cooler and the radiator and you know some hoses. That's gonna do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Also join our Facebook group. Uh, we have Top Rudder Ruckus Owners and Fans group. I'll be posting some videos and images there. Uh, you can follow along with this build and hopefully some other people's builds as well. Uh, I'm going up to Sodbusters 2025 in Hartford, Wisconsin. 
tonight. I'll be volunteering there on Saturday. Um, and then after the event on Saturday, I'm driving up a little bit further north to Oshkosh, uh, hanging out with a bunch of my friends there. Uh, and we'll be there for a couple of days and hopefully you'll be there too.